So what did you miss today at Jubilee? Well, today was Reign of Christ Sunday or Christ the King Sunday or whatever you want to call it. So you you miss some really big music with lots of major chords and descants. You miss a spectacular Handel anthem. Um, you miss the kids helping me do a little theology and wondering why Jesus is king. And, and then we looked at a, a lion and wonder if we could call Jesus a lion. And then we looked at a dog and wondered if we could call Jesus a dog and if we could call Jesus a lamb and, and even a flying monkey. And we looked at all the different ways we could talk about Jesus and how king is one of them, one of many. But in the end, no matter what we call Jesus, king or shepherd or lamb, we recognize that this person is the one in whom the fullness of God chose to dwell. The person that upon meeting you cannot talk of unless you're talking about God. And it's hard to talk about God without talking about Jesus. And so we we left it with that. And then we we talked a little bit about come to Jesus moments. As we read the reign of Christ lection reading, the story of Jesus being crucified from Luke's gospel with thieves on either side or traitors on either side being crucified with him, one who mocks him and the other asks to, to be in his kingdom. And so we talked about those come to Jesus moments that we have in our own lives. Those moments that we rarely go to willingly, but in fact, the moments where we're, we're dragged there to confront our own mortality, to confront the past, to confront the divine and how those come to Jesus moments are, are important, but what's more important is what we do after the come to Jesus moment. Having come to that moment in our lives when, when the past comes crashing in on us, when we are faced with God and with the enormity of it all, what do we do? Are we like the one crucified to the one side of Jesus who continues to mock him and stays as he always has stayed? Or are we like the other, on the other side of Jesus, who has lived his life one way, but in that moment decides to go a new way and asks, will you remember me in your kingdom? It's not the come to Jesus moments that matters as much as the moment that follows. And in fact, the better we get at following up those come to Jesus moments, the more we recognize that they happen all the time. We are confronted every day by our mortality, by our frailty, by our past, by a loving God who in fullness dwells in Jesus and invites us in a new way, invites us to find purpose and cause in our pain, to discover that love is worthwhile, even when, it, even when the evidence doesn't seem to point that way. So you may have missed us at Jubilee today, but you won't miss those come to Jesus moments. We all have them. You're going to have one anytime. The question is, what will you do after that moment? Hope we get to see you next week. God bless.